welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza, and today on the channel, we're actually at RV1 in Gainesville because we're taking a look at the 2021 Jayco Terrain. Okay, 19Y. That's the floor plan of this. There's only one of them out right now. The 19Y. This, I believe, is built on a 2021 Mercedes Sprinter 144 chassis. I'll let you know if I got it wrong. But the big thing about this is this is ready to go. This is a turnkey 4x4. You could just buy this, get on the road, and you're good. Everything is included in this. And so right now, we're going to get into a very detailed walkthrough of this 2021 Jayco Terrain 19Y. Let's get all up in it right now. I just want to take a quick break here to show you all these t-shirts that we're selling and uh, here I'll go to Lola's okay. right here. All Lola, right. you be the supermodel for I'll this. I'll try my best. So let's see if folks know what that says. Vanosaur. That's what it is. Vanosaur. Like connoisseur. There you go. For anyone who's wondering, these are, if you want to support us, this is a great way to support us. We have these Vanosaur t-shirts and you can actually buy them right here on the YouTube channel. Right. There's a like a little thing going there. What is that? It's a um, scroll on the bottom of each yeah. video, as well as if you go to the home page, there's a merch tab or merch store that you can click on. Yep. And you can get these cool shirts and support us. We're gonna do different designs. I think you have stickers and different things on right. the store right Currently, these are available now. on the sticker as stickers, on mugs, camp mugs, uh, water bottles. I think hats. Right, absolutely. So that's a great way to support the two of us. So if you want to support us, go there and check that out. And then one of the cool things about it that, you know, if you notice, there's no Stranger Palooza anywhere on it. So you don't have to advertise us, but you can support us, I think. Agreed. And you this know? first design is actually for Transit Camper Van. Yes. So that is, uh, once again, I'm going to use one is. <laughs> as the model. So yeah, that is a Ford Transit Camper Van, which my, which is right there. That's yep. ours that you see right behind us there. And then actually, uh, we've got some friends over there. So if you're a fan of the Ford Transit or just van life altogether, this is a cool shirt that you can get. It's kind of like a a conversation starter because people are going to want to know what does it say exactly <laughs> all right and we're going to do more of them okay so that's it thanks so much for listening you put on another shirt i did not i'm just kind of sweating through though oh. <laughs> it's all right. you're good it still looks good oh thank you all right you look a little bit more handsomer than me but we'll, we'll get no i mean i was born like this with the coast is yeah. too <laughs> <laughs> yes sir are you rolling oh okay awesome. <laughs> yeah so listen we've got trevor here Trevor, thanks for doing this. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Of RV1, of course. Yes, sir. And um, so the Jayco terrain that we're looking at here, I was just saying that it's a 2021, but I think I'm wrong on that, right? So it's a 2021, but it will be on a 2020 chassis. Okay. Uh, and you will also have the V6 turbo, which will be a diesel as well. Now mm -hmm. it will be a seven speed in place of the six speed. You'll mm -hmm. have 188 horsepower, about 325 pounds of torque as well. There you go. So very low end torque. And this is a four by four. That's correct. Yes, sir. Yes. So 4x4, 144, that's the short ones. Actually, you guys will remember that at the uh, RV Super Show in Tampa, we actually took a look at this because I did a video just on why do people like the 144s, why are they so popular. Yes, sir. And uh, this was featured heavily, or well, not exactly this van. Yes, sir. But yes. there was another van featured in there with the same color because it just looks really great. This Correct. is new, right? Yes, sir. Yes, this sir. is a new design for Jayco. Brand new, especially with this matte finish, as you can see. I mean, it's so sleek looking and it's mm -hmm. actually an upgrade. So yeah. it's, 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 an, it's an option that most customers are absolutely going to love and it comes in three different colored package. Yeah. Uh, this one right here is going to be the evergreen. Yeah, and this is the first one you guys have Correct, here. yes, sir. These are yeah. actually newly introduced, so it's very limited right now. Right, okay, awesome. So, you know, the, like I said, everything is included in this. Everything is already here. You could go with it. Let's start, though, by, talk, by showing you guys the sticker. We got a sticker right here from RV1. It says, uh, everyday low prices, nobody beats our prices. Nobody. nobody. There you go, new 2021 Jayco 19Y. Uh, model 19Y. So basically what that is is that there's a power lift bed in the back and um, And then you've got your wet bath over here, and then you've got your galley over here on this side of it We'll show you guys all of that list price is 216 and then with the savings here from RV1. It's 199 995 
let's go through this. First of all, I know this is a new design. What, were, what, what do you think Jayco was up to when they did all of this, man? So when Jayco decided they wanted to create this, they actually made this for a specific customer. So okay. this is actually made specifically to boondock. So you're gonna have 200 watts of solar up there. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have two, two uh, 226 amp converters in there as well, yeah. which is going to power this entire unit AC microwave for up to 10 hours, just running off of your solar and your battery. So the so the lithium, you've got 220 hours? Uh, so you'll have 220 amp, uh, the- uh, Amp hours. Correct. Okay, and then, so up front here, which we'll take a look. So in the engine, it's a single turbo, I believe. Yes, sir. Single turbo diesel. And um, there's an extra alternator in here. Correct. So you'll have two alternators. One of them is specifically going to be able to charge just the solar. So it's going yeah. to have two different options. One well, of them charge the batteries. Correct. Charge the batteries. Yeah. Your solar is basically going to work like uh, to help you trickle charge. Correct. You know. Um, but what you want to do if you just turn it on, these are pretty efficient. Let's see. Where is that? Here we go. You want me to turn the engine on as well? Uh, yeah. You can turn it on. So a diesel is going to be pretty efficient. For, for the folks out there that are watching this, of course you're going to have to do DEF, right? There's no way around that. There goes the DEF. There's the engine running. Now that's just the sound of a diesel. Right. Now, so here you go. So here's one thing I do want to say to people real quick before we get into a lot of details. If you really like going off road, you might want to consider getting one of these now. I'm not trying to make anyone buy anything, but Mercedes is actually switching the Sprinters um, oval over. I think you're going to get. I think you're going to get diesel, but you're not going to get 4x4. No, sir. Yeah, so that's going to become all-wheel drive. So if you're if you're a person who likes 4x4, you know, take this opportunity right now. It's going to be a few years before you start seeing the new sprinters come right. out. Yes, sir. But there's going to be some changes. A hundred percent. They're yeah. already in the works right now of building everything newer and better. So while we have this open here, uh, somewhere in here is a second alternator. I'm not exactly sure where that would be in here. Um, it's in there. It's a tight. It's a tight engine. But here, I, so I know that Trevor was pointing this out to me. You actually have a um, air an air compressor in here, Correct. and if you look at it, right there should be the nozzle. Let me see. Right here is the nozzle. Right here, this brass fitting. So if you air down your tires, you can air back up your tires from the front, and then we'll show you guys the one in the back when we go back there. Yes, the back. Um, safety stuff with the Sprinter. This is a 2020. What kind of safety stuff do we have on there? Do we, it looks like we have LED lights. Correct. Right, so you're going to have LED lights. You're also mm -hmm. going to have fog lights at the bottom as well. You're also going to have a, a overhead light bar. So it's, especially if you're going out somewhere in the dark, if you're out somewhere and it's, it's not very bright, you're also going to yeah. have that option nice to big. use as well. Yeah. And following here, you're also going to be upgraded to off-road tires, which yeah. will be filled uh, with nitrogen as well. So it'll be a little bit more aerodynamic if you're going somewhere that's super hot, super cold. It's not going to allow that tire to sit there and expand. Yeah. And so you've already got, you don't have to do that upgrade on the tires. Correct. And then nope. you've also got a rim upgrade as yes, well, sir. which is and awesome. that'll be Goodyear Endurance. So that's also not going to be yeah. your st typical Mayblow. So they will have a limited warranty. Does this have a spare tire? We'll have to see. You don't necessarily always get spare tires. Okay. All right. So we'll take a look into that and see whether or not it has a spare. So just going back here, I like the Jayco. Uh, this looks like an aluminum step here to get in. I like that. Um, of course, I think your gas tank is right here. There you go. Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> and um, you know, you've got you've got Mercedes. It looks like the original Mercedes leather seats. Uh, that have airbags built in and of course you'll you've got like power you could power program your seats and all that you know mercedes has a lot of cool stuff we'll show that when we go yeah, in but the control mirrors as well control yeah the yeah i mean you're gonna get the most bells and whistles with a mercedes so this is for gray water back here gray gray water as well and here's going to be your cassette there yeah so well. no no black tank on this no, because sir. you've got a cassette toilet that's Correct. coming out of here yeah, they're expecting you to be off roads where you don't have water or anything like that so it's an easy yeah. accessible take it out dump it dig a off, hole and put it right yeah. back correct there you go there is a light out here on the side which yes, i sir. like um big fan of these man <laughs> the bump, out. bump yes, outs sir. yeah bump outs are awesome and i think this looks like it opens so we'll Correct. show that on the inside yeah. i also want you to take note so you have 200 watts of solar up there already right but if that's not enough for you you also have the option to bring a portable uh, solar yeah. panel as well yeah you could put that off in the because you want to park this in your best shaded spot correct but but what you want to do is if you plug up a solar panel off somewhere where you can actually catch the sun yes, then you could trickle charge some stuff and be out longer 
Um, so here is your 30 amp here. Now with the bump outs, I think this is a bigger bump out on this side Correct. than on the other side, right? Correct. It's yeah. just giving you a lot more headroom space, especially yeah. uh, if you come around yeah. to this side. Yeah. Uh, it gives you a little bit more room for the bed to come down yeah. as well. So yeah, so let's just take a look. Take a look back here. This has kind of got a garage in the back here. We will get into all of this when we go when we go inside. But there is a garage here because you've got a loft bed that goes up and down. So you can um, you know, you can utilize this space to put electric bikes. You could probably get um, one of the huh? Electric bikes and scooters. Scooters. You can get all that stuff in here. I was thinking you could probably not a, really a side by side is really big, but like a what is it, like a four wheeler? You yeah, could probably sir, get a four wheeler in here. Vehicles, any sort of electric scooters, yeah. like you're saying. I yeah. even had a customer put inside a four wheeler, especially because you yeah. have your tie downs here that are to aluminum frame. Yeah. So you're not going to have to worry about yeah. it going anywhere. These are awesome. And then here's your shut off for your battery. So we have this open just so we can show that to you guys. And then of course you can put this back on here. And your battery's right here. So, uh, Renergy? Uh, yes, sir. And yeah. the entire length this of whole, that. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that's going to be a 42 yeah. uh, uh, volt as well, which is actually double the size of its leading competitor called the Rebel. So you'll get double the amount of lifespan, which is absolutely remarkable. So it's something that uh, Jayco's taken uh, beyond everybody else when it comes to how they're going to yeah. build their coaches. Yeah. So, and then we've got some other control. What is this water? I guess you've got uh, fresh water. Yes, sir. So all, all your controls are here, here, but I also want you to take note that if you ever, so we do have a, a, a demo that the, all of my technicians will show you how to use everything, give you a walkthrough. Mm -hmm. But if you ever forget anything, you're not going to have to look it up on the manual. So if you need to set it up to, you want to uh, fill up your tanks, so if you want to sanitize it, it gives you a diagram so you can just take a look at it and it's super easy and super simple for you as well. Yeah. And then you will have a, a spray port here. So if you ever need to wash your feet off, you have hot and cold water. Other manufacturers are just going to give you cold water. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if I got to climb up here in order to do this, but I'll just show you guys one of the things I really like about this. Boom! Awesome. This is all included. Correct. Deco's going to give you everything. You're not going to have to spend a ton of money on aftermarket. Boom! There you go. So, you know, you can have this all wide open and then still get a little bit of privacy and a screen and everything here. So that's really awesome. We're gonna stay outside here for a little while. So because of this, I don't think you really need, you won't need to put anything necessarily back here. No, the, the ladder is getting stored here, right? You Correct. can't, you shouldn't get on this ladder like no, this, right? No, okay. sir. So it's just uh, meant to sit here, especially while you're going down the road, it has yeah. a holding rack, but you're actually gonna have a setup on the opposite side for you to, uh, to hold it up to in order okay. to get up on the roof. Yeah. So you can move your ladder around Correct. and put it up. I'll give you guys Correct. a look. And then before we go to the other side, I just want to show you the paint job here. This is a this is an upgrade. Correct. So yeah. typically, especially in the class Bs, mm -hmm. uh, most manufacturers are going to give you high gloss paint. High gloss paint is absolutely remarkable. The only mm -hmm. issue is after a little bit of time, especially being in the sun as this Jayco would be, mm -hmm. it's going to start fading. With this yeah. matte finish, you are never going to have to worry about that, yeah. which is going to give you a higher resale value if you're ever looking to trade yeah. in the future. As and it well. looks tough. You looks get tough. street cred <laughs> out of it. <laughs> yes, like sir. I said, the theme of this is you don't really have to spend money and I think uh, some of the suspension stuff is upgraded Correct. too. You so want to tell us about yes, that? Yes sir. So you're going to have an oversized stabilizer bar in the back as well. So it's going to be included in the J-Rides uh, system which is going to help prevent any sort of swaying as you're going down the road. And you're also going to have upgraded Coney shocks which are going to be name brand uh, which are very 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 expensive. But yeah. at Jayco everything is about safety. So they're going to make sure that everything is fully upgraded especially in this sort of price point. You're not going to yeah. have to uh, with an off-road package, you're not going to have to go spend additional money. They're going to go ahead and give you the best in the market. Yeah, the Coney Shock, so that's going to be a name brand. So mm -hmm. especially with having off-road packages, you're going to be all the way in the dirt. You might be in the desert. You might be somewhere off-road, mm -hmm. especially where it's going to be super cold. They're going to already give you the best safety features. They're not going to make you buy an off-road package and spend additional money to upgrade. There is nothing on here that you can upgrade any further. It's already yeah. topped out. Yeah, so you guys will see. I don't know if I have it on the channel by the time this video goes up. But you guys will see a video of, you know, if you, you could get a 144, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you're already ready to go on the road. You're going to have to add some stuff. Ton and stuff. so I think, you know, that is a, that's a big positive uh, with this new Jayco design. Yeah. So what are we looking at back so here? So here, which is also, it, it comes standard, but it's mm -hmm. also an upgrade. So not only are you going to have an air compressor up front, but you're also going to have it in the back. So okay. if you're taking any sort of bicycles with you or anything that's going to be any sort of your toys, you do have the option to, to flatten the tires and refill it back up to give yeah. you a little bit better safety travel. 
Also something I want to point out. And by the way, I want to make a quick correction because I can actually see it from here. There is a spare tire under here. Awesome. So if you, I don't know if yep. you can get under there, Lola. We, we can definitely get the get the camera under there, and you guys could see here. So right under there, you guys could see there is a spare tire. So that's awesome. You got a spare. That's a big <laughs> deal. It doesn't. You don't actually get a spare with every Mercedes Sprinter van. No, sir. No, you do that not. Is, you know that is a big deal to have. Them. On the back here, you're also going to have a 5,000 pound uh, receiver. So you do have a 5,000 pound towing capacity, but as well as you have a seven weight plug here mm -hmm. that can also slim down to a three way. So you have every option available to you. You're not going to have to upgrade this or change it out depending on what you might yeah. be towing behind. So you. because of the, uh, the the torque rating mm -hmm. of this, you could tow 5,000. Correct. Plus yes, sir. With this, with this particular setup. Yes, sir. It's rated for yes, that. Yes, sir. Okay, awesome. So, and then I think this is for your hose right here. Correct. Yes, sir. For stinky, your gray slinky. Water. <laughs> yeah, for your gray water hose. Yes, sir. Now, I do like the marker lights back here. These are actual lights I see, because you don't always get that. So you see that, like, uh, because it's getting a little cloudy here. You guys can see the lights back there. Um, this is going to be a safety good. feature as well. So yeah. if you're going down the road, not going to have to worry about anybody not seeing you from behind. Yes. And as I said, the bump out on this side is a little shallower. Mm -hmm. So when you open that door, it could get past the bump out. But the co combination gives you a lot of room in there, yes, as you sir. guys will see. What I like about Jayco that I'm learning from you, mm -hmm. both sides, you've got power plugs. Yes, sir. So, so that's awesome. They're going to give you plenty of options. If you want to have any sort of outdoor TVs, if you mm -hmm. want to have anything plugged up on the outside, you have that option. Yeah. You're not going to have to bring in portable chargers for you. And then yeah. once again, you are going to be upgraded with Furion appliance. Oh, cool. So you will have <laughs> outdoor speakers. And once yeah. again, specialized in the yacht industry. So no, if any water gets in there, it's not going to start corroding and causing rust. Yeah. That's not something that you're going to have to consistently have to fix or upgrade in the future. Yeah. So there is a carefree awning up here. We're not going to spend, you know, since we're trying to get thorough, you guys have seen an awning before. <laughs> yeah. So you don't necessarily need to see that one. Let's open it up and uh, go on, on the inside here. I notice you do have a, a ram track here and a table. Yes, sir. You want to show us? Yeah, of course. And then here as well, you're going to have all your low point drains right underneath you. So super accessible. Uh, if you're okay. coming out here and you want to prepare any yeah. sort of dishes Hip or height. sandwiches for your yeah. family while you're outside, you have that option as well. And it's mm -hmm. super easy to put up and down, so you're not going to have to store it in the inside and lose storage space. Right. They're going to yeah. make sure it's super convenient for this you. This is cool. So the low point drains that are under this, what's the deal with these here? So, so the low point drains are going to be for, uh, especially with your your refrigerator is going to be mm -hmm. right here as well. Oh, okay. So you're going to have that accessible, but as well on the inside here, so you also have your sink. So all the plumbing is ran on one side, so you're not going to consistently have to go to that side, dump stuff, drain it, come to this side. It makes it super easy for service as well so it'll oh. save you money on labor and if you rates. want to winterize and all that correct here, yes sir so everything is is there in place you're not gonna have to consistently walk around your coach or forget okay. where it is okay it's gonna save you a ton of time and effort so let's take a look at the yeah. fridge so you'll have a, a refrigerator here now this will be tw uh, 12 volt as well yeah. uh, so everything is gonna be electricity and something really cool is you have an additional here. pull out here so if you're having to hook anything up or while you're cooking, you have a ton of table space ah, as well. Nice. So it's, it's a small coach, but they're going to make sure everything's super accessible. Yeah, let's go in here. I noticed this uh, is a little skinnier, but a little taller. Yes, yeah, sir. So, so Yeah, it's, it's upgrade. Most other manufacturers are going to just put in a, a small yeah. four cubic foot refrigerator yeah. that you're not even going to be able to put a couple sodas in there. So they're going to yeah. make sure it's And gone. once again, if you unhook that, I'll show you, this comes with uh, all your everything you need right here, your screening and Correct. stuff. And so this all comes standard. You so can you zip it. Yeah. Yeah, you can zip it from the right inside there. and outside. And How cool is I'll that? Grab it for you and go keep going down. There you go. Right here is the thing because it's there you go. We'll we'll open this all back up. So does this window open here? We'll we'll open yeah, up everything. Start, yeah, we'll have to do it from the inside. Okay, here we go. Oh there we go. Okay, there you go, Lola. Like it doesn't, you got the door open. Yeah. So there's a lock. So you're going to have to come inside to see how that works. But yes, there is a door and then there is a screen for that. So there you go. Come in and we'll show you. I just want to show that there is a, there's a main shut off here and the awning in and out button down there. I'll slide down. So, easy to do all you got to do is press this to the side and they also go ahead and give you a screen as well so if you which just, magnetizes it looks like correct so lock you, over there yeah if you just want to leave the doors open and not run your ac and have plenty enough of uh, airflow you have mm -hmm. that option available to you yeah. as well and then this is how it, it locks in yep. here 
So that's locked. And then that, then you unlock it like that. So. And same thing on the other yeah. side to you, uh, Miss Miss Lola, right there to the right. You have that same option, except mm -hmm. if you press that button there, Hank, it actually is going to have. Um, it'll do it itself. Boom! It's powered. Powered. Power. With the screen automatically. Yeah, going that's out awesome. With it actually. Well. Oh, I love this. This is great for yep. whoever. And you do have some here. shades there yeah. as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So whoever's sitting here. Yep. And the one thing I really 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 like about this is that you do have these jump seats up here so, so this is awesome you actually are gonna have you can actually you can expand, expand this it. out yeah. Yeah. so if you have uh, two a uh, little bit bigger size children back here you do have the option to spread the yeah. seating to give a little bit of arm yeah. length or if you have uh, two teenagers going with or two you big you dudes like me sitting back here. <laughs> and then you're gonna have your full display here as well with your energy batteries and then you'll have your self lock for your battery switch yeah. and then your furnace is up here as well yeah this is really cool there's even a ram there's even a ram track on the here so you know you could put lights or your gopro whatever it is you need you can actually run it into that ram track and then here this is like basically your control panel um cabinet here so you can put a lot of things in here and all of your and, cabinetry is going to yeah. be made by the amish as well with jayco mm -hmm. okay that, the best handcrafted that you, hardware you can get hardware yeah. than hardware so let me uh let me actually sit down in here and show everyone what what this looks like in here and i don't know about you mr hang but these seats are incredibly comfy especially yeah. when it being upgraded to ultra leather you know it's not going to yeah. be any sort of the vinyl that's going to be fading away for you well my favorite part is this power, <laughs> yes, power seats like i could just mess with this all day mm -hmm. and then a trick I learned from uh, doing this for a while is that if so if you need to spin the seats around you can actually put it in the position that's mm -hmm. easiest to spin it and then program it because it's programmable yes, or you've got the manual switch here to where you can swivel oh, I'm so yeah. sorry oh. where you can swivel either side as well yeah, yeah. so I, I think having powered seats here is a is a really cool thing yes sir um, and then obviously you've got your mirrors and everything here is powered as well if you've driven one of these sprints they're really um they're they're to me fun to drive yep. yes, sir. you know and you've got a lot of text just look at all the tech that's up here these are mice here that you can control different things mm -hmm. <laughs> so right here at the steering wheel the thing is see that i'm going up and down and going in and out of things or hitting the home button and all that yes, sir. so that's really the beauty of uh you know of having even here inside of the screen here there's a uh there's also there's a little mouse pad like thing to go through different features as you're driving up here so lots of features and I think let me see you can go yes, you've sir. got bird's eye view backup lane assist and you'll mm -hmm. also have adaptive cruise control as well which technically right now especially with the class B's uh, the only thing that's going to be that upgraded will also be your airstream so this is why it is very on par with the airstreams right now especially in, in these smaller class B's yeah and then right here you've got a folding handbrake so you can fold this down out of the way just just for comfort you can have the handbrake engaged and then you could still well, I think you can have it engaged and then push it down like that mm -hmm. So right now you put it back up and then you can unengage the handbrake and so. then also take notice you have absolutely no carpet in here especially mm -hmm. if you're going to be out boondocking you're supposed yeah, to be out gonna there be, camping you're going to be dirty yep, you're going to have bed liner here you're not yeah. going to have to worry about uh it getting mm -hmm. super dirty and being super hard to clean up you actually yeah. are already going to have it placed here to where it's super easy to wipe up yeah lots of cup holders uh down here over here um th this so this little pocket right here, mm -hmm. I believe you could put your phone in here Correct. and inductively charge it. Yes, sir. Or you, well and you USB. also have your forks here. And you're also going to have oh your AC DC for right there if you have to do anything mm -hmm. with cigarette chargers. Mm -hmm. And you're also going to have plenty of storage up above you as well. Yeah. I mean, as usual with Mercedes, you're just going to get a lot of hundred really cool percent. You're um, going to be on one of the best chassis out there. Yeah, we do. There is a. There is, as you can see up here, there are some little pockets you can put things into. Yep. Um, up here, over here. And do we have, sorry. Yep, right above I know above we've got some storage slowly. up there in the, the, the pizza oven, as yep. they call it. <laughs> yes, sir. Over there, so very nice. 100%. Very cool. You've got like, hey, Mercedes with this. I don't know yes, if that's sir. working right uh, now. But it, it is set on dummy display mode right now, but yeah. you do have that option. You just say, hey, Mercedes, and you can uh, take me to the nearest restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, I play this certain music, play Spotify. You have all these options yeah. for you as well. Um, yeah, this, this, like, you could mess around with the but the features mm -hmm. of Mercedes for a while. And from what I'm seeing here, you've got yeah. different options of display. Yep. You can so right there's behind you. you. You can, you know, so you can see, there a few. I think this is for the hitch. 
Correct. So see how there's that red thing right there? If you're if you're backing up to hook up to tow something, and you can use that. You'll have a you'll have a microphone as well, so you can hear somebody behind you. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. I mean, really nice. Yes, sir. Uh, in terms of the camera setup here. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go check out the stuff in the back. And we'll keep this we'll keep this AC pumping. <laughs> oh yeah. It's, <laughs> but believe it. I mean, it's three of us in here, and still it's yeah. absolutely fine. And then in there, that's just story. like some of the same components yeah. as last time. So, you just have all your manuals and everything up there. Yeah, so you've got a lot of stuff stored here. I notice your smoke detector and all that's mm -hmm. here. And then you've got another, this is another one of the Furion speakers. Correct, Furion so. speakers for you as well. Okay. And then as well here, so you are going to have a ton of cabinet space in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you can see, everything's going to be fully open. You're also going to have stainless steel appliances. I'm not going to put in plastic for you. And then once again, you just have storage galore all the way across. So these are a bunch of upgrades that they're going to go ahead and give you. I don't know if you have ever been inside of a Rebel, but you only have two cabinets that you can actually store stuff in. Mm -hmm. This is the leading competitor, and I'm, you can fit your whole cabinetry yeah, in here. I do like the storage Your, your whole pantry, you have that option. Yeah. So, and then here, here's going to be uh, your two sewer, uh, I'm sorry, your uh, hoses for the outside as well. And then here, they're also going to put in... Oh, that's the TV? Uh, this is actually your indu uh, oh, induction. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the oven. So that Correct. can go up here, I mean, the stovetop. Correct, yes, that sir. That can go here, or you can take it outside. Yes, sir. And then yeah. just tons of storage. Like You, you have the option uh, to completely go boondocking and take whatever you need with you. You're not going to have to bring coolers. You're not going to have to bring uh, storage bins. You have places to put everything. Well, Let's go through all the drawers here. Okay, now this is oh, cool. Little. I like this that. This is a neat little. Yeah. Yeah. Extra. All the way across. Yeah. Very nice. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Open all these drawers here so folks can get a look at these drawers. Tons and tons of storage. And they go all the way out as well. So it's not the short cabinets. Tons and tons. Right. That's really nice. So you've got a square sink over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've got a full-size faucet. But I think the, the storage here is probably the best feature. And then if you just turn around right here, you can actually extend this out, you know. Um, and I think this comes up, so you can bring it up like that and get it up to the, on level with what you're doing. And then you can bring it down and push it back in. It so it'll come all the way out and it'll lock like that here. You can fold this out and it gives you a little bit more space and then all you gotta do is put it back and then there's two red clamps here you just have to make sure you press that in and it'll slide right in yeah so there you go yep. why don't you come back this way Trevor yep. and we'll uh... <laughs> yeah show you this amazing bathroom we have here so this door will fully open awesome. uh, it gives you that excess now I want you to take note that you also can have these racks here for mm -hmm. storage so if you are not using your shower you still have the ability to use this as storage. So no. you have that option here. So yeah. if you need a, even with a clothes hanger rack, if you go outside, you go swimming, now you can put it in here into your wet bath right. and you're not gonna have to worry about putting yeah. it in. Your shoes yeah, or something. Yeah, you have, you have, have that option, which is something that no other manufacturer yeah. on the market is doing right now. Right, absolutely. And the, one of the things about having a van is you really need to make the best use of the space. Correct. So this uh, allows you to do that. That's yes, sir. Cool. Jayco takes it further than anybody else on the market. And once yeah. again, you'll still have that aquifer system. Uh, so it will re, uh, recycle through your tank to make sure that it's getting heated up before you actually use it. Okay. So you're not gonna continuously have to sit there and waste your portable water so let's get those out and then actually get a look at the bathroom space here and see what kind of the space we have now where would one put these well I guess you could put these in the garage back there correct you can put it in the garage you can put it up there actually on your uh, right in front of right above the driver's seat or mm -hmm. you can store it in here to put it the 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 easiest place to drop yeah and then as you see yeah go so let's go ahead uh, and get in there you have plenty of room Hey Lola, I'll take a look if you want to um, if you want to sit down and be our model here of the bathroom. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Here's the uh, toilet. Is there a sink in here? No. Is there? Is that a sink right behind you? No, that's like a, you've got a little cubby, I guess that you can you can put some uh, can shower store. stuff in. Yeah, you can store some um, some things in here. Yeah. So there is no there sink. is there is a shower head right there, and right. there is a fan. 
in here as well. And right here, you can pull this out and use that as a. Oh, I uh, see. And you hook it here. As yeah, a it's a hang line. stuff if you want to draw it. So that's cool. Yeah, that is nice. Like okay, that. very nice. But I guess this, this would be is, this, this would, would be, be the sink. Yeah, but this would still be you know the size of a of a bathroom that's going on the side. So yeah. Okay. That's cool. All right, so. Come on. And then if you come back, you're looking here. like Quasimodo back there. <laughs> come out and look. Well, this goes all the way up. I know we're blocking probably the AC. Oh uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So it does go up a little bit more, but this right. back window back here, you oh, can actually open that, that yeah. up as well. Lola should be short enough to walk under that. <laughs> so it is actually yeah. pretty cool. So you do have that option if you want to open that up, and you do have reading lights back here as well. Mm -hmm. And the, and the uh, hot yeah. bugs. Yes. Back yeah. Here. So, you know, you have the panel there too. yeah, with this all the way up, you can really use this. Yep. I'm going to go on the other side there and open up the door and we'll talk about the space in here. That way I'll give you guys a little bit more room. All right. So we've got this in the bed mode. Um, you know, the way we had everything, like we had all these down. So it took us a minute to put that together. You know, um, you got a pretty big bed here, right? You can sleep two people. Yes, sir. You can sleep two sideways. Yes, sir. You can. Yeah. And what's the weight rating of this? I think seven hundred pounds. Seven fifty. Yeah, seven fifty. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty pounds. That's pretty good. There's still lots of storage underneath here. If you look, Lola, um, down here, there's still you could still have a whole bunch of stuff here. So all your bags and things like that, you can still have down here. If you were taking bikes with you and they were in here, then obviously you'd have them out. Mm -hmm. And but you would still have a ton of storage down here. Even you know, pet and stuff like that could be could be fine down here. So. And then once again, this this leather is going to make it so much more comfortable as you're laying down as mm -hmm. well with the ultra leather. And I think that gives you a lot of flexibility here. Mm -hmm. You know, with what you could do when this is all the way up. Um, I, I'm not sure. It depends on how tall you are. You could probably stand underneath it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just something that you want to think about. I think when I talk to people, there's a lot of people that like these kind of like loft lifting, lowering beds. If you have this, you kind of lose cabinets back here, mm -hmm. but then you do have a bigger space here that you Correct. can use. So it really comes down to what you want to do. And if you want to get out there and do a lot of stuff and bring a ton of stuff with you, then I think this goes a long way yeah, to help it. The great thing is, you, you in this particular model, you will lose cabinet space back here, but that's mm -hmm. why they give you so much up front. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the, the leading competitor only has two storage compartments. So yeah. Jayco right now is ahead of the game, but especially as aftermarket, you have so much additional spaces down here that you can throw in some cabinetry. Or if you want yeah. additional, I've seen a couple customers, they'll leave this a little bit higher and put a blow up mattress and now just sleeping two, yeah. now you can sleep four. You could, yeah, someone can go the other way go through here. And then you do have uh, light switches, yep. I think, and some controls over on that panel right there, Lola. Um, Once again, if you're sleeping and you don't feel like getting up and having to go up there to the touch screen, you right. have everything accessible yeah. right there. And over here, where I'm guessing your, your head would be, and then if you look, like what we were showing the bump outs outside, this is the indentation that you get from the bump outs here on the inside that really allows you to stretch out here and then sleep this way. Uh, like I guess that's called east west. Oh, yes, sir. So you can really do that. And there's a cool, there's a window right here. So if you need um, if you need some airflow through here, and then you've got two lights as well. So either one of you, I guess, could have uh, your own light on if you're reading or something like that at night. And then there is a power plug. So very nice, very nice. You know what? Let us, um, let's actually, oh, you want, can we lift this up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's uh, get this going up. Lola, I think if you're going to go up with this, right, you probably want to get these out of the way. Um, here, I'll put them underneath here for right now. It's probably the easiest thing to do. There you go. All right, go for it. And nice and quiet. Get <laughs> here. Let's see if we can go all the way up. Okay, so, high so, you can go. so as you can see, if I, I couldn't really stand here, but you can get back here and get things in and out. And then I did notice that there is kind of like a bag here and there's some space. Yeah, uh, I can't see it from Probably I went the wrong way. Hold on. Lola, if you come in and open the bag from the other side, it'll drop down. Okay. So there's two of these here. And uh, just pull it down. There you go. And so you can store stuff under here, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, or you can take it off altogether. Drop it back down and just yeah. kill it. 
So yes, you can you store a bunch of stuff in here, you know, keep your extras in here, and then you can put it up there. Easy enough. So I like that. Um, these kind of get stored off here. Right. And I think you do them where you can actually just Funny. use the uh, clasps and lock them in like that. Mm -hmm. And then of course, you know, these go back up here. So. There you go. And there's two of those. Correct. So there's more storage right there. Yeah. Put bedding in there. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so listen, let's go up front and let's wrap up this video. All right. So Trevor, thanks so much for giving us this uh, walkthrough yes, sir. of the place. terrain. It's uh, actually really cool. Like I said, seems ready to go to me. Yes, Obviously, if you want to, you can upgrade, but you have all the upgrades I think you're really gonna need to just buy this and drive off. You know, you don't even have to bring anything with you. You can go to Walmart on the road. <laughs> yes, sir. Park around you the parking spot as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, so if folks want to know more about this, uh, you know, how can they get in touch with you guys here? Yeah. And, uh, so yeah. I'm at the... Because this is for sale, right? Oh, this yes, sir. Yeah, 100%. This is, this is on the market. So I'm at RV1 in Gainesville, but we do have uh, 97 stores. We're opening up a ton more all across the United States. Uh, so if you want to get in contact with me, my number is 352 888-9728. Uh, I would love the opportunity to help with any sort of questions or concerns. Yeah, absolutely. Leave you guys questions, comments, etc. in here. You know, we'll get Trevor to uh, check this out. As maybe we'll get some folks from Jayco, you yeah. know, to take a look at it. And if you're really interested in this, I'll do more follow-up stuff. Yeah. So big thanks to RV1 here in Gainesville for yes, giving sir. me the opportunity. It was our to check absolute pleasure, and thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity. All right, and a big thanks to Lola for being so patient <laughs> behind the camera. We'll see you guys on the next one. We're out of here. Peace.